that makes it really easy to do your job right is because you don't have to worry about the guy next to you doing his job so if he's doing his job and i'm doing mine like i can focus all on my job i don't have to be like in my head like vita's got it over there i gotta do my thing or i've been on you know sometimes where it's like this guy's not gonna do it right i have to like cover for him and do my job it's like so it's nice having him next to me when did you see this much potential in him? Did you, did you ever think he'd be this good? Uh, I think I, I saw the potential right away because he's like so huge and he was like he's like one of the he's probably the fastest lineman I think, and he's like 350 pounds almost. So I saw that right away. I just knew he had to get the mental aspect, and now that's coming together. So now he's pretty incredible. <laughs> he's a freak of nature. Nice to meet you, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. How would, how, how would you describe this kind of transition period from going from guys like Elijah to now you and Vita are stepping up more and kind of the next wave of Husky defenders is coming in? Just kind of talk about that process for you and how you kind of learn more about yourself in that role. I mean, me and Vita played a lot last year too with Elijah, and now it's like we have to find someone else to sub in with us, in which we have Jalen Johnson and Shane Bowman. Those guys are both played last year as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be a pretty smooth transition. Mm -hmm. kind of, when you look at the line, you have a lot of young guys like Levi and some other guys that maybe might not get as many reps, but they have potential. Oh, yeah. Talking, kind of talk about what you've seen from the younger guys in the first couple of days. I think Levi is going to be really good mm -hmm. for sure. He's got he's like 290 pounds right now, and he's fast. He's one of, he's one of the faster D linemen for mm -hmm. sure. And, uh, I mean, he's at two, he's 290 pounds now. He came in at 265 or something, so he's definitely improving, mm -hmm. getting stronger, faster. And he's starting to get like the mental stuff down. He's learning his plays, and I think once he gets that, he'll be really good. Mm -hmm. so. When you when you look at the line, what are some expectations you have? Because obviously the defense was one of the best in the nation last year. Most of them are returning. The secondary is kind of getting sorted out. But just what are the expectations that years that the group is talking about? When you guys have two meetings. I think that I think one of our biggest goals is to be one of the top D lines in the country, if not the top D line in the country. 